All right, hi guys, my name is Katie, or KB Does Art, and today we're going to be texturing our um, screwdriver model that we did a while ago. So um, first things first, I want you guys to go ahead and select your objects, do a edit, delete all by type, and then delete that history. And then go ahead and click on Arnold and grab a sky dome light. So now we've got a little bit of light in the scene and you can click seven to see how it lights it up. And then I'm gonna go back, click five again, just to see it normally. Uh, let's go into face mode and then click space and let's go into this view. I'm gonna grab these faces here, hold right click down and do assign new material. Then go to shader and go to um, AI standard surface. So there's a couple ways that we could do this. If you click on this little checker here, it'll bring up all of these different um, kind of like textures that you can use. So um, if you wanted to, you could technically apply one of these um, textures to um, that like metal part of the screwdriver. Um, you can also just texture it gray and just add a little bit of like roughness on it. Um, so kind of up to you. I'm gonna try out, um, I think I'm gonna try out rock. And then let's go into this view, click seven. Let's go ahead and click on that texture here. So it looks like our color is red, which is kind of odd. So let's just grab like gray. Um, and then it looks like you can change stuff like grain size, um, diffusion, that kind of thing, which I'll edit here. And then let's go back into face mode, back into our side view, and let's go ahead and select um, these faces. And then let's go back into perspective view and just hold tab, click one, and then click the other to just get that ring. All while holding down tab. All right, that should now have all of those guys selected. Go ahead and hold right click down, do assign new material, and we're gonna do the same thing. So get AI standard surface. And then if you wanted to, you can use one of these as kind of like a base um, for your handle. Um, you could use something like leather. Um, actually, yeah, let's, let's try leather. That might be kind of cool. First, I'm gonna change my colors to the colors that I want the handle of the screwdriver. Um, I think I'm gonna go with red since we have a red screwdriver in my house. So just pick like a deep red and then for the indents, I'll just take that same red, but just make it a bit um, darker. And then cell size, I'm gonna just make really small and density, I'll take all the way up. Spottiness, I'll take all the way down, I think. Randomness, randomness is good. Threshold, keep like that. Okay, so um, our textures aren't really showing up here too much. So if you click six, you can see the textures on your screwdriver now. So you can choose to kind of edit them however way you want at this point. Um, they will look a little bit different. So if you click seven um, after you've clicked six, then you can see the lighting with the texture. So here's where you can kind of um, edit that portion. Um, so I'll probably make my green size maybe a little bit smaller. Diffusion can go up. Maybe that down. And then as for the handle, this seems pretty fine. I think I might take up diffuse roughness and metalness a little bit. And then you can kind of play with like roughness and smoothing and that kind of thing. You can also mess with um, the subsurface. This will kind of change the lighting that you have on that. Uh, transmission will change like your opacity basically. So I wouldn't recommend that on this model. Um, coat is like your overcoat on it. 
So if you want to make it darker or lighter without actually changing it. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. So next what I would do is you can just do Arnold and then render and then zoom out a bit, see how it's kind of looking. And if you like it, then you're all done. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this model. Two very easy textures to do. And then just feel free to kind of like play around with these knobs and that kind of thing. It's all very technical. So kind of just play with it, experiment a bit. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.